Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Pickle Your Life. My name is Matt Evans, and I'm an interdisciplinary artist and composer based out of Seattle, Washington. This is uh, Coley Mixon here. Coley is an incredible interdisciplinary artist and guitarist, as you hear. We're going to be making two types of pickles this evening. One involving a cucumber and some other things. And then also, we're going to be doing some pickling with carrots as well. So to quickly go over the ingredients list, you're going to need two carrots. You'll be needing a cucumber. You'll be needing some chili flake, if you choose. You'll be needing salt. Sesame seeds. Some rice wine vinegar. And also a number of books that are important to you, that have a lot of good weight in your life. You'll be using those later on. Um, these pickles are pickles that I've had at different Zen meditation retreats, or that I've made from different books of, that are of recipes of Zen temple foods. And so I always enjoy them because they're very simple, they're uh, delicious, and it's an excellent way to take the nonlinear jump of your mind through simple activities that enrich your life. So Let's get started. I'm going to move the camera so you can see what I'm doing. First, we're going to make our cucumber pickles. Now, if you have an English cucumber like this, the skin is very bitter, so we need to remove the skin. If you have some little Persian cucumbers, they taste pretty good. The skin tastes good, so you don't need to worry about it. But anyway, let's take the ends off this cucumber and then remove the skin. Remove the bitterness. 
You can use a vegetable peeler. I like to use a knife. One of the things that I've done the last uh, couple of years is a series of events called Sound Dinners, where um, I have uh, I have people that come to my house and um, you know they're they're invited in, and then I serve a series of meals that are based uh, and paired with different sounds. And one of the things that I always make ooh, is these uh, is these pickles. And people seem to really like them. Sometimes simple food is really the best. I have a lot of fond memories of uh, pickles when I was a kid. My sister Ginny and I would sit around in the summertime just munching on pickles, watching cartoons in the morning. So, the next thing, once you've got your cucumber, you've got the, the bitterness removed from it, you can start slicing it. I guess you could go this way. You could go a long way. It doesn't really matter. I think I might make diagonal flames myself. Now, these are fresh pickles, my friends. They're pickles you could make. And immediately, there's not going to be any canning involved. They're just going to be ready. We're going to be able to eat them together digitally on just the other side of intimacy. Look at this pile of cucumbers. Selfishly, I always like to eat just the end. Okay. Get together a bowl for your cucumbers. Let's put the cucumbers in the bowl together. But before we put all of them in, let's start adding a little bit of salt on the top of the cucumbers together. We want to try to Allow the living cells to pick up what what we're putting going to be putting in, and also release the water later on. So the salt is clean. Don't be shy with the salt, my friends.
So, I don't know if you can see. There's, there's a lot of salt. You can put... Put it on. And now, we've got these guys uh, pretty well salted. They're, they're ready to go. They're just going to sit. They're going to rest. The salt is going to work its magic. While we get started on the carrots. So take your two carrots. First, let's cut the end off. Then let's cut the carrot in half. Why not? You know, I was reading about carrots the other day, and apparently they were originally cultivated for their greens and for their seeds. And it occurred to me, I don't think I've ever had a carrot seed before, but I do like to eat the tops, often parboiled, with some sesame seeds. And a little bit of soy sauce, then chopped. Anyway, with your carrot, you're going to want to First, make it into slices about like this, and then I'm gonna cut those in half again. We're just gonna make a pile of carrots. It's gonna be like a. Uh, it's gonna be like a pile of sandbags to guard against people who don't like pickles. It's gonna. There could be a wave. It could be washing over us at any moment. So we're gonna really need to make this wall pretty. Hard. Carrot number one is done. Let's do the other one. Some of these carrots has the same little thing. I know, cut them into small pieces. I mean, I guess you could cut them into really tiny pieces if you really want. It's really hard to do. Have you sampled your carrots yet? You may want to try one just to make sure it's good. Make sure the uh, flesh is sweet enough for you. So we've got all these carrots, and we've got this bowl. So, let's 
start putting the carrots in the bowl. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put a lot of salt on them intermittently while we're. I realized I put a few tablespoons and things like that, but I, I, I rarely cook with directions, so I'm, it's just some salt. I'll show you what I'm doing. So we've got all the carrots salted here. The next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to take our cucumbers, which have been, they've been salting this whole time. Let's make sure they're really thoroughly coated in salt here. And we're going to lay these out on the cutting board. And then we're going to press them. So you're gonna need you're gonna need uh, your cutting board. You're gonna need something else, maybe a small cutting board that's gonna go on top of the cucumbers to press on top of them. And then we're gonna put the books on top of our on top of the board. So lay your cucumbers out. You guys have all your cucumbers laid out? I thought you did. Okay. Now I'm going to get a board and put that on top of the cucumbers. And then we're going to get some, some books of great importance here going on top. Let's see here. For me, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna put uh, basketball and other things. That's definitely that's that's definitely important for me. Um, we're gonna put uh, Indigenous Peoples' History of the United States. Put that on there. Dada Jing. Pretty important. Put that on there as well. Tallgrass Prairie introduction. I can put that on there for sure. And we're just gonna let those. You can, if you, you know, if you want to put your weight into it, go for it. Why not? Just uh, you know, jam on it. Anyway, put as many books on there as you want to. I'm gonna take a minute and read about. Read from um, from uh, Dogen. A lot, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the temples in Japan of the Soto Zen sect follow what's called the Instructions for the Tenzo by Dogen. He lived in the 1200s in Japan, and he placed great importance on cooking, just as much as on meditation or anything else. So. He said, Dogen says, while you prepare your food, do not see with ordinary eyes and do not think with ordinary mind. Take up a blade of grass and construct a treasure king's land, enter into a particle of dust and turn the great Dharma wheel. Do not arouse disdainful mind when you prepare a broth of wild grasses. Do not arouse joyful mind when you prepare a fine cream soup. Where there is no discrimination, how can there be distaste. Thus, do not be careless. Even when you work with poor materials, 
and sustain your efforts even when you have excellent materials. Never change your attitude according to the materials. If you do, it's like varying your truth when speaking with different people. Then you are not in a practitioner of the way. Now we're going to, I would like to have you guys imagine uh, with, imagine with us the thousands of tiny shining mouths of the cells exhaling so that we can inhale the energy that they'll be, that this food will be giving us. Breathe deeply, breathe from, from your heart right here while we drown the water out of the cucumbers together. Allow the books to continue while we drown for a few minutes. Uh... All right, my friends, now it's time to wash the salt away from, from everything. So I'm going to get up and go over to the sink, and I'm going to, um, I'm going to wash these, these out. Um, so what's going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these things in the bowl. I'm going to run a little bit of cold water into the bowl and wash the carrots and wash the cucumbers out and then tip it out and let the water and the salt run away so you just have the just have the cucumbers and carrots remaining in there so i'm going to do that and then polly is going to give you some dreamy tones 
or vegetable washing while I'm doing that. So dreamily wash your vegetables, wash the salt away from, from your vegetables, from your cucumbers and carrots. Shake the water off these cubes too. Then the last part for the cucumber. Let's start with the cucumbers first. They really, um, I I like to use a little bit of chili flake. So let's just do like a little shake. This probably ends up being about half a tablespoon or so if you are really into measuring. Uh, 
And then we're going to do the carrots. The carrots. First, we need sesame seed. I'll measure out how much sesame I put on here. Let's do one tablespoon. And then another. I did two tablespoons of sesame on my two carrots. You could do more if you wanted to. Let's mix it up. You know, Dogen says that when you're in the kitchen, it's practice for it's practice for your life. I mean, it is its own practice, but it's also a practice for your lives. But your cooking becomes an opportunity for you to learn how to cook your life. So anyways, we're um, making these these carrots. I mean, you could do more sesame if you want to. I did two tablespoons. And then if you want, no Korean chili flake on your cucumbers, you can. Or I mean, on your carrots, and you can. I personally, I like chili on my, on my carrots, so. Probably another, probably another half tablespoon or so. Okay, mix it up. I really, I really like the Korean chili flake that I've got here. It's very smoky. It's not so hot, so I can. So, we have pickles, my friends. Go ahead and, and try them, try them. Well, thank you so much for joining us this evening. I hope that your pickles turned out well. If you have any, if you have any questions at all about um, how to do this, or more ideas about cucumbers, carrots, or anything else, please don't hesitate to reach out I'm on Twitter at NatEvans underscore underscore, same on Instagram. Coley Mixon is uh, who has been playing this incredible spacey guitar for us all night long. Is on Instagram at astro.dudes. They're an incredible artist. You should really check them out. And uh, and that's it. Bye, internet.